my channel for today's video honestly i don't even know where to begin where to start where to talk where to say like i'm just overwhelmed with the fact that you guys even now know and you guys are finally hearing me and i'm finally able to share with you guys why i've been so mia from social media honestly like i know these past couple weeks you guys have probably been like uh girlfriend where are you at why are you not posting like i haven't been getting ready i haven't been like doing anything anything i've just been home hibernating and growing this little human being inside of my stomach and honestly i have just really been enjoying every single moment and i just can't believe i'm here but if you guys are new to my channel hi my name is blanca yvette if you guys are not new to my channel then welcome back if you guys are new to my channel i am expecting baby number three i have a daughter and a son um they are four and three years old and honestly guys i'm just in shock that i am pregnant again and you guys are gonna know exactly how this all happened but let's get right into today's video obviously it doesn't take a genius to find out how we got pregnant but i am just really shocked and i want you guys to see how raw and how shocked we were to find out that we were pregnant um because we weren't trying and um our reactions definitely very surprised we were very just like what the heck's going on what happened oh my god how did this happen um i laugh nervously like i just just didn't really know how to react but before we go into the reaction um i wanted to tell you guys how we got to this very moment so um, I was in Philadelphia, I went for the Shein event, and when I was at the Shein event, it was for the Bad Bunny concert, you guys probably remember the content that I was posting, it was a bunch of influencers, we got sent out to uh, Philadelphia for Made in America, and I was feeling a little off, I remember us flying out, I went with Karina, I remember me flying out with Karina and me telling her that I was feeling a little nauseous, and I was like, really kind of just like, mm, maybe I'm tripping, like maybe I'm not, like, I was like, maybe I ate something wrong or maybe the fly because it was a little bit of a long fly. Like I'm feeling a little nauseous, but the feeling was a little like different. It definitely wasn't like your normal nausea. It was more like a, ooh, I feel kind of weird nausea. So I remember me sharing very briefly with her that I was feeling a little nauseous and she was like, you know, I didn't want to really say anything because I wasn't 100% sure if i was pregnant but i knew in me in my heart i knew i was pregnant already because like i know my period is very regular i am tw every 28 days i have a normal cycle i if i miss one day i know that something's up so i was already on like my second day of being late and i was like oh this is a normal like i don't think i should be late you know i don't think that i should be this late i do have a calendar i follow my ovulation period so i know when i'm ovulating i know when my period's late i know all of that is pretty accurate because i do have a normal cycle so i remember me just kind of um feeling just really off my breasts were feeling really tender like really tender to the touch and my body started changing very early on guys like i was just like like what is going on like why is my body changing so much like my nipples started getting a little darker um my stomach like the line that i have down my stomach started showing up really early and i was like whoa like something's off my body is going through changes i was feeling a little nauseous i was just feeling tired i wasn't feeling like myself so i just remember me texting Elisa and me be like babe i think i'm pregnant he's like you're crazy i was like babe i think i'm pregnant he's like you're losing your mind i was like no babe i really think i'm pregnant and finally he was just kind of like okay well if you think you're pregnant when you get home like we'll test and i was just like he was just like normal like he was just like la 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 Elisa has been wanting to have more babies i've been pretty vocal about that before like um he you know really did want to have more children it was definitely more me that i was a little bit more like I don't know if i'm ready i don't know if i should i don't know if i can like i don't know if I, like, my body can go through this again it was me definitely being in my own head of just like yes i do yes i don't like i mean no i don't yes i do and like just a lot of back and forth where i was just like i don't know like i don't know if i do i don't know if i want and it's so big you know it's a big thing like this is a baby like you don't just say like i want a baby and like it happens you know it's something that we all are kind of like thinking about more and now when it's your third pregnancy and your third baby it obviously starts getting a little bit scarier you know not scarier but just a little bit more like ah like am i ready for a third one like am i gonna be okay because i have two of them already and they're still very young and like you start just thinking about a lot of stuff so 
I have a whole, I'm gonna have a whole separate video of just like how I really, really felt um, video, you know? But um, yeah, I remembered me just texting him and me telling him like, I think I'm pregnant. So he was like, well, when you get back, we'll test. So then I remember me telling Karina like, hey, like I think something's off. I might be a little bit late on my period. And then I remember me texting my sister and I'm like, hey, like I was telling them like kind of everybody like, hey, like I'm a little worried. So then I was like, okay, maybe I should just stop because if I am pregnant, then I'm gonna need to like not just be so vocal about it, you know? I ended up telling my sister I started my period because she was asking. I ended up telling Miguel I started my period because I was talking to him, you know? And like, I just ended up saying like, no, I started my period, I'm fine. Um, and just pretended like it wasn't happening. I went about my day in Philadelphia, my weekend, uh, went to the Bad Bunny concert, had a great time with everybody. I don't drink, so nobody was really suspecting anything because I don't drink anymore. So um, I just was like, no, I don't drink, like I'm fine. And everybody, it was just like normal, you know, everything was fine. We fly back from Philadelphia and I arrived to Philadelphia really late at night. So then the next day, um, Ulysses and I decide to take a pregnancy test and that is what you guys are going to see right now. This is like the crazy net since I fucking told him my period was late. He's like, Really? Cover it up. But even then, it's, it's a. Uh, like, it's just completely different because it's like our, our third rodeo. So it's like different, you know? Each one is different. The first time is like your first time, second time is a surprise. <laughs> yeah, that's what the third one feels like. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Let's see. So how long you have to wait? I am almost like 99.9% .9 sure. And we just made a baby in Italy. How does yeah. that make you feel? I know when it happened at the time that it happened. <laughs> Which was it? The first time? It was for sure the first time. Really? Yes, with that gorgeous um, view. Yeah. I was like, let's go upstairs. Yeah, well, the one it is, so I think, you know. Well, he says pull out games a week. Not even. I always pull out. It just, even, <laughs> even, even my pre comes powerful. Like, like, you know, I, I've always pulled out. I don't even, it wasn't even really a thing I do, you know? Yeah. I just don't know how this happened. Because you can pay the days. Yeah, the okay, so, so this is. Up. I did fuck up, actually, guys, so the calendar. You know how we were a day ahead? So I thought I was already in the clear because my ovulation period was already done, not realizing that I had a fucking day left because I was in I was a day ahead. So my calendar was telling me that I was good. So it was literally the day of. It was the day of and I was like, what the fuck? How did I mix it up? Because I'm stupid. We're romantic. We're and we're whispering because Eva and Green are outside. We're we're in love and romantic, so we didn't care. Yeah. You ready? So, okay, so tell me. This one's it. digital. Okay, so it says it. Was it gonna it say? Was it say pregnant or not pregnant? Okay, so it's not the stripe shit. No. That shit confusing. <laughs> no, this one just is gonna say it. Okay. It's still not. <gasps> told you. That's oh crazy. my god. Oh my god. I. I did it. I fucking told you. <laughs> fucking told you. It's like a fucking bull. I'm just <laughs> laughing because because bullshit. she was all. I knew it. I fucking knew I it. I know. But... My nipples started turning brown. Like I was really nauseous. He's like, you're exaggerating. I was like, relax. He's like, you're fine. She trips off one day, so like after two, three days, like no, no lie, after five, I was like, okay. There's another little human inside of me. Are you ready for the roller coaster of emotions of me hating you again? Well, I already saw it because you hated me and then you let me feel away. You're going to be I'm just anxious. What's it going to be different this time? 
I'm gonna try to take you know, better care of myself, that's for sure, because I'm not trying to be 200 pounds again. Because <laughs> I really let myself go last pregnancy. I didn't, I was careless, I didn't care. I didn't exercise, I didn't take care of myself, nothing. Yeah, I think the second time, like, you really wanted to just, like, Hibernate. Yeah, like hibernate. So I think this time it's different because yeah. you actually want to be like an active mom. Yeah, not even that, but I just Literally. Like I need energy. Like, overall, you just want to be able to be like more on top of everything, you know? Yeah, especially because this time around, I feel like I want to do things a little bit different for our delivery and stuff. So I just want to make sure I can help my body do things a little bit better, you know? I'm doing this again. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I just can't believe we're doing this shit again. This oh crazy. my god. So as you guys can see, um, we were definitely <laughs> we were definitely both just kind of like, okay, we knew it. Like I knew it. I kept telling Elisa over and over and over again, I know I'm pregnant. I know I'm pregnant. I know I'm pregnant. I know I'm pregnant. Like there was just no doubt in my mind. I wasn't like, oh my god, I'm like once i got to the point where my body was changing i didn't even need a pregnancy test to verify that for me i was late i already just knew like there was no like oh my god you know like there was a little bit of a oh shit it's true but i was just kind of like i told you it was like i told you so you didn't believe me i freaking told you and honestly it was just us finding out it was more like a playful finding out like oh my god like this is happening like it's all your fault like you know me just messing around with elisa is like you did this to me um and he kept telling me like you wanted it what are you talking about you know it was just very different it was a very different experience for us um we were more like okay well let's go it's we're ready for the the third one let's get ready for the ride i was definitely a little bit more scared like i'm not gonna lie i was very scared when i found out i just kind of remember telling elisa you know he did ask me like how are you feeling and i was like i'm just scared I was just more scared because of how I was feeling emotionally with my body, like everything that's happened after I got my gallbladder removed, like everything that's just been like how I feel, like how I get really bad stomach aches, like all of those things were just kind of like flashing back, my anxiety, um, just, you know, a lot of the emotions, the panic attacks that I was having, you know, the previous months. All of those things were just kind of what were triggering me at that moment when I found out because I was just like, how am I going to get, you know, through this pregnancy without my baby feeling all those emotions? So that was definitely more what was in my thought. But other than that, I was just super excited. I was really happy and I, I was like, wow, like this is really happening again. Um, I am going to film a separate video for you guys where I go really into detail with every single reason why I guess I doubted myself personally with carrying another baby um but today's video is just obviously to share with you guys the moment of us really just finding out so lisa is obviously you guys can see he was really he was excited and he's till this day now like he's just like wow like we're really having another baby like we're gonna have another baby soon the communication we've had with the kids like they've just been so excited max kisses my belly every day and he's just like mommy there's a baby in your belly like he definitely understands a little bit more than camila does camila just kind of like does what he says like follows along and he's just like oh mommy mommy has a baby mommy has a baby and maxi is a little bit more like there's a baby like he'll be like mommy when's the baby coming out like when is the baby coming here and i'm like it's gonna be a couple of months you know and then I'll be like do you think it's a brother or a sister and like we have those communications and even with Camila like she's you know we try to like tell her what's happening but I think she's also still a little like she's still a baby still so she's just kind of like la 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 cool like whatever you say you know um but we've taken definitely the time to just really um, just be thankful, you know, that we're even able to experience this all over again And we do want to be able to share this moment with you guys and share this journey with you guys and really just bring you guys along for the ride I feel like um, I wasn't trying to not share with you guys so soon It's just I think it took me a really long time to just kind of like start feeling a little bit more normal start feeling a little bit more okay and um, I will share like my symptoms with you guys and stuff and like more content to come. I'm going to have more mommy content and share like those moments with you guys where you guys know exactly what's happening. And I have been also pre-recording um, throughout this journey, like our first doctor's appointment. We have um, our family's reactions. We have um, Lisa's is my mine, our friends reactions. We have um, 
uh, well, finding out when we're pregnant, you know, so we have, and then we did like a gender prediction video. We do know, um, we do have the baby's gender. We don't know the gender yet. So we're just still trying to figure out like if we want to have um, a more intimate gender reveal where maybe just Lisa and I find out. Um, it's just a little bit more casual, you know, like we're on baby number three. We've had two great gender reveal parties already and I'd rather just focus on having like a really nice baby shower uh, with my friends and family instead of throwing like this whole uh, gender reveal like I already have a boy I already have a girl like I already have the best of both worlds um, this third baby is honestly just like the cherry on top and a third blessing to us like all that I'm really worried about you know like all I'm worried about is just making sure that baby's fine we're fine and that we're all enjoying the moment of me bringing another baby into this world so it's definitely a little bit different this time around and um, I will definitely keep you guys updated though and posted with like what we're trying to do But we do have baby's gender already and it's waiting and it's like killing me the ant anticipation is literally killing me guys knowing that there is like a result already and I Have not found out, you know, because I just been really just taking my time. We could have found out like two three weeks ago, but we just haven't Lisa was like let's just open it and i'm like no babe like i still want it to be a little bit cute i'm like i still want it to be a little sentimental i don't want it to just be like a reaction you know like i, I still want us to like figure out like how we're gonna find out like ah you know like it's a little bit more nerve-wracking because like the moment's over you know like once like right now i like still being able to guess like i wonder what you're gonna be are you a boy like i'm still seeing boy stuff girl stuff like i like the suspense of like not knowing and then once we know it's just kind of like okay <laughs> like the suspense is over you know um so i'm just really trying to just enjoy the moment and just like live in the moment and really just appreciate it so i'm just really excited guys i um cannot wait for you guys to see our family's reactions i was very surprised by our family's reactions um our friends reactions and uh, just all the content that's coming and um, yeah, I'm just super excited to bring you guys along this ride. I hope you guys are excited for us. Honestly, I appreciate all of the support that we have always gotten from you guys and just, you know, a lot of you guys have actually been telling us like baby number three, baby number three. So I know there's a lot of you guys like really excited for this new journey. I feel like we've bonded the most when I've been pregnant because I've been very raw and open with you guys and I don't want this to be any different. I want this to be an experience for all of us and for all my mommies out there who are expecting um, and that need someone to feel a little normal with and relate to and maybe talk to just chat with me in the comments below if you guys are expecting any babies what you guys are expecting how far along you guys are how have you guys been feeling you know being pregnant is not all glamorous and sometimes it can feel really lonely and sometimes it can feel really just scary and i just want to be kind of like that support for you guys to know that we're all going through this together we're all bringing life into you know bringing life together and these moments are moments that we should cherish and appreciate so i'm just ready for this new journey with you guys and i hope you guys are just as excited as we are and i cannot wait for you guys to see all the videos coming so thank you guys all so much for watching stay tuned for the content to come and i'll see you guys on my next video love you guys